How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Jake Tying Basics video series. In this episode I'm going to show you how to whip finish. Whip finishing is a very important technique that you'll want to practice before you start tying jigs. Because it is the ending knot that holds everything together, you want to make sure you can get it right. Keep in mind that this is normally done at the very end of tying the jig. I'm just showing you with nothing on the hook so you can see better and it's more straightforward. So I'm going to be showing you three ways to whip finish. We're going to start with the easiest way, which is with the whip finishing tool. Alright, so we're going to take our bobbin and pull out about 6 inches of thread to work with. We're going to take the whip finishing tool and hook the thread from below. And then we're going to turn the tool upward. You want to face it toward the ceiling. Put the thread into that little divot in the bottom part of the whip finisher. Now we're going to turn the whip finishing tool back the way it was and pull our thread toward the back part of the jig. And we're just going to start wrapping that. Make sure you keep the tool nice and steady. It should turn freely. We're just going to wrap that five times. Once we've completed those five wraps, you're going to take the divot part of that whip finishing tool and unhook the thread there behind the eye. And then we're going to pull the thread tight with the bobbin and get the hook out of there. And there it is, the finishing knot. That'll hold your jig together nice and tight. So your thread should be coming through the back of that knot if you did it right. And as you can see, that's a nice clean finishing knot. You may need to practice that a few times. It's not as easy as it looks, so just practice that until you can get it right. Alright, this is method number two to whip finish. This is without a whip finisher tool, you can just use your fingers. So we're going to pull out about six inches of thread again to work with, and we're going to place our pointer finger and our middle finger on top of the thread, facing down, and bring your bobbin up over the top, then turn your fingers toward you, switch their position, and face them toward the jig. Put your middle finger under the jig, and your pointer finger up over the jig to do a wrap, then your fingers should be facing toward you again. Switch their position, facing toward the jig. Bring your middle finger under and your pointer finger over. Do it again. And just do that four or five times to complete the knot. Again, this can be very confusing, so just keep watching it back as many times as you need to until you figure it out. And now we can pull our thread with our bobbin with our left hand and then just pinch that loop and pull it tight. And there you can see we have another strong knot just like with the whip finisher tool and you can cut the thread. Now for the third way, this way is probably the easiest but it's the most risky just because the whole thing could fall apart if you're not careful. So we're just going to take another piece of thread or fishing line about six inches long and fold it in half and we're just going to tie that in so that the loop goes toward the head of the jig and we're just going to wrap over that make sure you keep your thread tight we're going to do four or five wraps over that and then you're going to cut the thread make sure you have enough to work with this is where it can be really risky you need to keep constant pressure so the jig doesn't fall apart so we're just going to push on here to keep pressure. Normally I would pinch it with my pointer finger and my thumb, but I would need you to be able to see. So we're going to take the end of our thread that we just cut, put it through the loop. It doesn't matter how you put it through, just make sure it goes through all the way. And we're just going to pull the loop and it will pull the thread with it. And then you can pull the thread tight. So there you go, you have a nice knot. The thread should be coming out the back and you can cut the thread. So that's whip finishing. I thought it was important to show you how to do that before you tie a jig, just so that you don't tie your first jig and then not know how to do the finishing knot and it all falls apart. So make sure you practice that and get it down. If that was helpful, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And please check out the rest of the Jig Tying Basics video series. I'll leave a link to that playlist in the description.